all right girls this is the final look i did go ahead and put it up in a half up half down <laughs> so now i'm about to get ready i'm about to um do my makeup and then style my hair y'all i got this from five and below isn't it so cute i feel like it's perfect for like getting your hair out of your face so that you can like do your makeup and your hair is not like getting in your face isn't it cute i think it's so cute y'all i got this from five and below it is a it says a spa headband but i think it's a makeup headband that's what i'm using it for Yes. I'm gonna put my hair in. All right, now I'm about to do my makeup. The foundation I'm using is by Maybelline in the color mocha it is the matte and poreless foundation i love this foundation y'all ever like use a foundation or like have a favorite and then you stop using it because you tried other things that you liked and then you go back to it and you just be like wow like i really do like this foundation like i forgot how much i like this foundation I clearly like this foundation because I just put way too much on, but it's all right. We gonna blend this out and make it work. I'm completely rushing with this. on my forehead but y'all don't judge me i absolutely do have one eyelash left that will not fall out and i'm gonna just let it hang out I'm not going for like a full coverage look. We're just doing something slight.
I missed a step with my eyes. I usually go in with the eye lid color. I go just a very natural flesh tone color. And um, I didn't do that today. Because I'm blushing, and this is my first like makeup. This is not a tutorial. This is just for get ready with me. I told you I'm not a makeup artist. I just love makeup. With my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. Just right here. For extra bright under eye. And then my other concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. in the color tan. Shoot, let's go in. We're tan. Might as well, might as well. Then we're gonna go in with the nose contour. drying down a little bit I'm gonna go in to my lid and to the revolution glow matte bronzer and medium I'm gonna take some of that and just go into my lid I usually do this before my concealer because I don't want the fallout to get on my concealer. But I forgot. This is not the color I really wanted to use today, but. I hate rushing doing my makeup. But I think what you're gonna do. Yeah, I'm going in. Pick this up and kinda make your and use your concealer to clean up any fallout and it kind of makes it more sharp and clean like more precise
All right. Now we need to set. I'm gonna take my Revolution Banana Deep in the color. What color is this? Oh, I guess the color is Banana Deep. Duh. So I'm going to take some of this and set my under eye. I kind of don't even see my concealer anymore, but let's do this. I'll go in with my bronzer. So now we're gonna go in with my Fenty. My Fenty Espresso, my bronzing stick. It's done. It's almost only a little bit left and I'm hanging on to it for dear life. I'm gonna get another one. I love that bronzer. That contour stick is just like so just the right color. I am really rushing y'all. And I don't know what I'm wearing. Some of that cream bronzer, the Fenty. Bring it up. I'll bring it into my lid color. And then I'm gonna go in with my Revolution bronzer again. 
And this time I'm going to take it here. And then I am going to set my face. I'm going to use the Fenty Pro Filter Matte Powder Foundation in the color 420. Uh -oh. And then I'm going to go in with my other brush and kind of go over the highlighted areas using my, where's my Sephora collection? Sephora collection micro smooth powder in the color toffee. Set all the highlighted areas on my face. Oh, I meant to use my other brush to go over my contour. Just to kind of blend everything. And then we're gonna go in with some blush because your girl loves some pretty blush. I'm gonna go in with this blush trio. I think this is Sephora collection. Oh no, Ulta Beauty collection. This is the color I'm gonna use. And it's so pretty. This is, what color is this? It's a matte dark coral color. Look at that. I feel like blush just kind of brings the color back to your face. And I feel like this coral color looks so pretty on dark skin. Look at that. That's so pretty. Say that's not a pretty coral color. That is a pretty coral color. And then I'm gonna go in with, let's do lips. Y'all, one of the best liners is Sephora Collection. This matte color, I mean, molasses. It's by the Sephora Collection and it's gone. I have no more left. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to get whatever I can. Ain't nothing in here. I can't use it. I can't use it. There's no left. I got one more from Sephora Collection. It's not molasses, it's a different color. I'm gonna have to use that lip color. I'll be right back. Okay. So this one is by Ulta Beauty.
Can they come out like a... It's more like a... A wine. Top of it, I'm gonna do. Should I do? Should I do pink? This is Sephora Collections colorful gloss bomb. Bomb. It's bomb. Blend that in. Pretty and then I'm thinking I'm gonna layer it with this new pretty like new color. What is this for? It's called Bands. Cause Shawty and Bands. See, that's not pretty. Thank you. Buy Sephora collection. I love purple glosses. And then I'm going to set my face with the Hydro Grip Refresh Spray Setting Spray. And then I'm done and I'm going to come back. We're going to take this out. I'm going to get dressed and we're going to see the finished look. See y'all in a second. A lot of bounce. Wow. Wow. These are really coming out pretty. Look how pretty these are coming out. My last video, I did them on flat iron, an old flat iron, like so far. And now I have done it on Wow. Look at the shine, y'all. Should we do another side part? Should we keep it in the middle? It's cute. Um, I don't know how long this is gonna last though because it's on blown out hair. So I'm not sure. Guess we'll see. Maybe I'll do an update. But yeah, I'm not sure how long this is gonna last, but it's cute and I'm gonna be ready for my meeting. So it only took, I think I only had the mirror for 35 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes and it gave me a look so i'm here for it leave a comment below if you have any questions if you want to see me do another style with this um i'm thinking what if i do something like like a ponytail like like this 
girls this is the final look i did go ahead and put it up and i have up half down um yeah this is the look and it's cute i do prefer it on um lightly pressed hair or flat iron hair but this is cute i'm here for it let me know what y'all think comment in the description box in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe